this outfit called TV Choice. You know, the people I do this presenting lark for. Well, they wanted me to make a film about systems in banking. No way, I said. Not till you pay me for the last job. I mean, they're a pretty good bunch, I suppose, but slow payers. Honestly, it's like getting blood out of a stone. And anyway, what they do was only part of the story. Why do they do it? Vital questions. Who owns them? Where does their money come from? Everywhere you look, there are businesses or organisations of some kind. Millions of people work in them. You could probably run for a year or ten years and never get round all of them. And I'm pagad already. But what are they all doing? Why are they all here? Cool stuff. Yeah, but that's only half the story. price of people have been buying and selling stuff since well since the Stone Age back then it was called barter you know I'll swap you my flint headed axe for your lump of meat that sort of thing these days there are thousands millions of transactions going on every second so, we use computers. Now, old Homo sapien the first wasn't that bright, so when he wanted to swap two sheep for a cow or whatever it was, he made a mark in the dust. But when it rained... But then he thought, maybe I can use the stick. Clever, see? People have been using sticks since medieval times to record transactions. They were called tally sticks. A tiny cut like this, that was a shilling. And then as the cuts got bigger, one as big as my thumb, that was a hundred quid. All the way up to the size of my hand, that was a thousand. Hand grand, see? Anyway, what they did was, they cut the stick in half, you each kept a half, and that was your record of having made a transaction. Accounting in those days was mainly done by the lords of the manor, the posh people, in order to keep a check on what the peasants owed them. And nothing changes really. 
but it started way before that. I mean, even before the Lord of the Manor. The Greeks were doing it, the Egyptians, and the Romans, of course. It's a good answer. It's not a great answer. You want me to invest £70,000 and then show you how to make money? My bank balance is usually around zero or worse. Yeah. About the imagery, you spent most of your pitch telling us a, a historic story. No time at all telling us where the business was. And you're making a mistake. We're investors. I'm out. That you will drive people to despair who go in business with you. They are great pieces. They're really interesting. Really thinking about going to business. They are also your Achilles heel. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I love it. I'm going to offer you all of the money, obviously. £25,000, but I want 25% of the business. Are they structured? Why are they structured like that? Where's the pub? Well, eventually they coughed up. So now I can make the film. Only trouble is, where do I start? Upside down. So anyway, I raised my startup finance, started my own little business. I was finally selling stuff. Ice cream? Well, it's a living. Ices! Shark ices!